What's going on, y'all? Welcome back to Steve Booster GS. We got another score car reaction for y'all, and you already know what it is. Let's get it. Sierra Leone Week continues. I'm bringing y'all some Shadow Boxer this time. Shadow Boxer has not dis. Uh, actually, that's not true. I was gonna say Shadow Boxer hasn't disappointed me yet, but he did put. A, he's got a song that's just some EDM shit that I couldn't get behind. Like I get it. There are people out there who really, really fuck with techno, but like. I'm old and washed. I can't be doing fucking Molly in some bitch's basement letting me sweat on her. And some <laughs> Aside from that, all his hip-hop shit has been super, super fire. Uh, including, I think we are actually reacted to one off of this album that this is off of too. Which was super dope. So, I'm excited to hop into this. Do me a favor. Run the gauntlet. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. A little bell notification guy. We about to get into this, man. Sierra Leone, stand up. We cooking. Alright, Promise, Shadow Boxer, featuring Silverstone. First time hearing Silverstone, I don't know what that is. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Oh shit, hold on, my headphones ain't even on. Ball dropped! That's my bad, I got y'all. Here we go, we good, we good, we good. Okay. Oh, we getting him on his little, uh, we getting him on his little, uh, what a, like, commercial kind of reggae tip that we've been getting from Sierra Leone. All right, I see y'all. Reggae's not the word, but the, there's, I, what's the word for that tropical sound? When stuff sounds like you on vacation, because I keep saying that, but I know there's a word for it that I just don't have. Like, it, like it sounds all, I don't know, fucking upbeat and happy and shit. But today more link up. Left the problem now you bet yeah. Come out tonight more pink up. We no guarantee tomorrow. Enjoy your life, no delay. You might not see tomorrow. So pull your saga today. I was half right, half wrong. I do think that this is like a feel good type song now, but I think it's it's got that tinge of sorrow to it. You know what I'm saying? It's got that tinge of realness to it to, that it's tapping into. Um, I'm gonna try and keep myself together for this, but the the what he just said, like if that's if that's what this promise is, that what the song is about, like yo, you're not promised tomorrow. If that if that's what he's saying, uh, like my father just passed away in June. Uh, if you guys watch the channel, you guys know I've mentioned it in a couple of videos and stuff like that. And it's not just me. Uh, ever since this COVID shit hit. Whether in hip hop we're losing legends left and right, I feel like every week we've got a new rest in peace hashtag that goes out there and shit like that. And if he, I mean, if this is just some uplifting tomorrow's not promised type shit, this shit is probably more relevant right now than it ever has been before. Like, let's go, man. Shout out to everybody who lost anyone in these last couple of years, cause like it's it's been rough. We need some good positive music and shit like that, man. Tonight, mo pink cup. We no guarantee tomorrow. Enjoy your life, no delay. You might not see tomorrow. So put your saga today. Who that you love, make me know. And let like him bug, no make me go. No block your own way, make me flow. Love and happiness, make me know. Go fame cup, look champagne. And tonight, let go, no complain. Love and life, not to pain. Dance, you dance, low me tame. Yeah. Tomorrow, no promise. I'm just being honest to you. Okay, Silverstone, let's go! Oh, well, yeah. So make we live life for oh, Celebrate life for oh, 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 yeah. Oh, well, oh. I know you work more now. You mark it no celebrity. So this is interesting too, right? Uh, in, in a lot of places where I go and I react to music, specifically like it started off in South Africa, I know there's, there's issues with it in Nigeria too. It tends to be like... Uh, this conflict between people who say like oh an artist sounds too American versus they they don't sound like they they're using their local dialects and stuff like that. Shadow boxer prior to this uh, I, I didn't hear that 
that Sierra Leone sound. You know what I'm saying? When we, when we dug into the ones that we did, it definitely had the, the more clear American accent to it and everything like that. This is him kind of tapping. Uh, he's tapping into those roots. He's tapping into the Sierra Leone music. From what we've reacted to this week, you, it's definitely got the influence in there. And it's very, it's cool for me to see that because I know that those conversations happen behind scenes culturally and stuff like that. So it's really dope to see him tapping into that side of it. You business not soul, oh God, but the people who I'm pepe. Today you no more left worry. Make some time to get loose. Dance and tell your story. Have a low chain and juice. Who that you love? Make me know. It lucky I'm bug, no make me go. No block your own way, make me flow. Love and happiness, make me know. Y O L O, more celebrate. You with the smoke, more elevate. Bring can love, kill any age. Bad mind people, they are on our way. Yeah. Tomorrow's a promise. So he's doing a good job, even though I can't understand all the words that are being said. You understand all the words that are being said. Does that make sense to you? Like, definitely, GS Gang, do your thing. Like, translations down in the comments below. I'd love it when y'all do that. It lets me appreciate and understand the music a lot more. But I'm saying this to point out that even though I can't understand every word, the context of the song and what I can understand, his tonality and the words that, that, that are getting through to me in English, you understand what's being said. You know what I'm saying? Like, this feels like, you know what this feels like? This feels like one of those cool, like, graduation dance type songs that people listen to. You know what I'm saying? Like, like it, it's putting me in that that somber celebration mode, right? Like, yeah, we're all happy, we're graduating, but then you're also kind of letting go of everything, too. Like, it's got that somberness to it. It's doing a thing. Like, he's putting me through some emotions with this. I'm just being honest, oh, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Silverstone is eating him from delivery wise though, yo. His my man's voice and cadence and flow like ooh, so smooth. This is nice. That hits me every time. That's such a good line. The way he delivers that. Tomorrow's not promised. I'm just being honest. I don't know. The way he hits that, it's like, ah, stop <laughs> making me feel things. You can tell at the concert, this is the jaunt where the lighters come out, the phone screens come out and everything like that. Ah, that's what this is. Inside the pool, one rule, only box and panty. So let's party like we never gon' die. If rain comes here for the way that don't die, anybody will join well till I come by. Share the box, I invite and you come by. Till tomorrow, no promise. I'm just being honest, oh, 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 yeah, oh, oh, oh. Silverstone is a beautiful voice. Definitely my primary takeaway here. This is the the concert closer too. This is, it does. It's got that finale feel to it. You know what I'm saying? This is the last song at the concert to play. Uh, somber little uh, little little exit into the fade. Everybody goes crazy for the encore and shit. I liked it. It was a cool, it was a cool song. Uh, I'm not sure that I'm putting this on a playlist. This is sad as shit <laughs> for me personally right now. Um, but for what it's worth, I like it. For, for and like. This, this is in that category for those graduation type songs for me, you know what I'm saying? There's so many of those songs that we have where we attach memories to and shit. Like, I got a feeling this is going to be one of those for a lot of people. Um, let's do it, though. Let's pull up the scorecard. Let's get smoke. Pull up the scorecard. Let's break it down. Let's see how we really felt about it. Uh, yeah, I'm a fan of Shadowboxer. Shadowboxer's a monster. And we definitely seen like a... Just put Shadow. 
Um, we definitely see a different side of him right now, which anytime that we get to delve into an artist versatility, I'm 100% on board with that. And we are new uh, to Silverstone, but Silverstone was phenomenal on this. He's definitely getting a one for one. Boom! If you're new to the channel, you don't know how to become a fan, you got to catch at least three of them. Silverstone definitely one for one right now. Target audience for this. Absolutely, man. Positive message, good vibes, beautiful voice on it. Like, come on. Proper setting. Everything that I just said, right? This is your closer song. This is your closer song. But yeah, th there's a lot of viability to this that I can think of. You have your graduation, you have the concert closers, you know what I'm saying? Like, any any of those type of scenarios, uh, for me personally, like, if you're going through loss and shit like that, this is the type of music to just kind of, like, you don't want to forget the people that have passed, obviously, you know what I'm saying? You want to be able to remember and have that kind of positive energy behind it, but still understand that it is still sad. So it's still got that kind of, like, you know what I'm saying, like, low tones to it and everything like that. I liked it. I think there's, 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 there's a lot to it. There's a lot to this track, man. Bars of lyrics. There's not a lot to the lyrics, right? And I, a lot of it I didn't understand, but for most of it, you know, we got the gist of it. I give it a solid 20 out of 25. We know that when Shadow Boxer gets in his I'm about to bar shit up bag, that he can get that. That's not what this is. This is definitely more of a radio commercial centric track. This wasn't come in and bar it up. This is, yo... Let's set the vibe. Let's set the mood. Let's, let's really give people a reason to just like, yo, live in the moment. Tomorrow's not promised type shit. I liked it. The delivery, I think Shadows Bakker's delivery on this definitely left something to be desired. But Silverstone was fucking nasty on this. I, I, I got it right at 20 to 20 again. 20 out of 20. Um, beat selection, for, for what it's worth, 15 out of 15. I think the beat did a lot of work here. The beat did a really good job of capturing the combination of it's still good, but it's sad also. Like... It did the job really well. Sound quality mixing, stop it. 15 out of 15, it was perfect. Effectiveness, does this make you want to listen to more of them? I put them right at that uh, right at that 8 out of 10. Um, I don't know that I would want to dig into Shadow Boxer if this was the very first thing that I'd ever heard from him, but this definitely makes me want to dig into more Silverstone. Uh, and enjoyability. <laughs> ah, it's, it's Enjoyable is not the word, right? I do think it was effective, right? Because to say it's enjoyable when it's making you feel and think about those type of things isn't right. I do think it was effective. I give it a, I give it a nine out of ten to be honest with you for that type of effectiveness of what it was. Eighty-seven out of hundred. That's my score. Do y'all agree? Do you disagree? Sierra Leone, stand up. Let me know you in the house. As always, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. I'm gonna catch y'all on the next one. Let's go.